In this video, we will show you the key steps for running an Invitrogen Procartoplex assay. Before starting, prepare the necessary reagents on your lab bench. These include pooled antigen standards, capture bead mix, detection antibody mix, wash buffer, universal assay buffer or cell culture medium, streptavidin PE, reading buffer, the 96 well flat bottom plate including lid, plate seals, and your samples. To perform the assay, you will also need an Invitrogen handheld magnetic plate washer, a thermoscientific vortex mixer, a microtiter plate shaker with at least 1.5 millimeter orbit diameter capable of maintaining a speed of 600 plus or minus 50 RPM, a Luminex XMAP or Bioplex instrument, pipetting reservoirs, and pipettes with tips. The plate map contains seven standard points in duplicate and two background values. The samples can be determined as single values or duplicates. From a technical perspective, we recommend running them in duplicates. Vortex each 1x bead mix for 30 seconds. Transfer each 1x bead mix to a reagent reservoir. Using a multi-channel pipette, add 50 microliters of the combined bead mix to each well. Some combinable panels may have more than a single 1x bead mix. In this case, follow the protocol shown for volumes needed. Attach the plate to the handheld magnet and wait two minutes to allow the beads to accumulate on the bottom of each well. Remove the liquid in the wells by quickly inverting the assembly over a sink or waste container. Blot the inverted assembly onto several layers of paper towels or absorbent surface to remove any residual solution. Add 150 microliters of 1x wash buffer to each well and wait 30 seconds to allow the beads to accumulate on the bottom. Repeat the inversion over the sink or waste container to remove the liquid and blot the plate on a paper towel to remove any residual liquid. Remove the plate from the magnetic handheld plate washer. For serum and plasma samples, add 25 microliters of universal assay buffer to each well. Then add 25 microliters of prepared working antigen standards, universal assay buffer as background, or samples into the dedicated wells. For cell culture supernatants, add 50 microliters of prepared standards, cell culture medium as background, or samples into the dedicated wells. Seal the plate with the provided plate seal. Remove the backing of the seal, center, and place onto the plate. Use a soft rubber roller or an applicator to apply firm even pressure to completely seal the plate. Cover the plate with the black microplate lid. Place the plate on a shaker at 600 RPM for two hours at room temperature. Take the plate from the shaker and repeat the wash procedure from the bead washing step. For step-by-step -step instructions, watch the video titled, How to Perform Handheld Magnetic Plate Washing for Invitrogen Procartoplex Multiplex Immunoassays or Invitrogen Quantigene Plex Assays. After washing, pour detection antibody mixture at 1x to a reagent reservoir. Add 25 microliters of 1x detection antibody mixture to each well. Seal the plate with a new plate seal. Cover the plate with the black microplate lid. Incubate 30 minutes on a microplate shaker at room temperature. Shake at 600 RPM. Take the plate from the shaker and remove the plate seal. Repeat the wash procedure from the bead washing step. After the washing step, add 50 microliters of streptavidin PE solution to each well. Seal the plate with a new plate seal, cover the plate with a black microplate lid, and incubate 30 minutes on a plate shaker at room temperature at 600 RPM. Take the plate from the shaker and repeat the wash procedure from the bead washing step. 
Add 120 microliters of reading buffer to each well. Seal the plate with a new plate seal and cover the plate with the black microplate lid. Incubate 5 minutes on a plate shaker at room temperature. Shake at 600 RPM. Remove plate seal and run on a Luminex instrument. Prior to running the assay, ensure that the probe height has been calibrated with the 96 well flat bottom plate supplied with the kit, and that the instrument passed calibration and verification. When entering the information into the Luminex acquisition software, refer to the certificate of analysis provided with the kit for bead region and S1 values for each analyte of the current lot. We recommend setting the sample size to 50 microliters and the bead number to a minimum of 50 beads per bead region. Adjust the doublet discriminator gate as recommended in the Procartoplex assay user guide. The Procartoplex analysis app available on Thermo Fisher Connect platform contains all lot specific Procartoplex kit data to minimize manual data entry. The app also offers advanced analysis features, detailed reports, and publication ready images. Thank you for watching this video. To find out more information about Procartoplex immunoassays, visit thermofisher.com forward slash Procartoplex.